Hi, and welcome to another episode of Getting Dirty with Glenn. I'm in one of my favorite places right now, Harrington Beach State Park, located right on beautiful Lake Michigan. And I love it for the serenity. I wanted to come up here, one, just to walk, get some steps in today instead of on the bike path. And two, I want to share my thoughts on one of my favorite sayings that I learned from my photography professor at Iowa State. I need to get some journalism credits for my degree in landscape architecture. And I never realized how much of a role photography or videography now would play in my life. Um, and the professor, in order to get us to take more than the normal picture, usually when people are taking pictures, they're um, taking pictures uh, from like in my example, six foot four, somebody else might be five foot two, and that's how you see the world. And he wanted us to be a little more creative in our photography. So he shared the saying, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And that's true. If you get down on your stomach and take a picture of the beach, it's going to look a lot different than you take it from, a, from my eyesight level of six foot four. Um, or if you get up high in a tree, or I'm a FAA certified drone pilot. I love flying my drone and taking photos and videos because it completely changes the way you see things. And I didn't realize how important that would be. That would be. Now, if I look at this beach, let me turn the camera around. It's just me on the beach, a mile of sand one foot waves coming off the lake, not even one foot, overcast day. But all I hear is the ripple of the waves right now. But having visited Harrington Beach State Park, I know the history of this. And about 170 years ago, um, anywhere between 60 and 160 bodies washed up on this beach and other area beaches here. Because a steamship was traveling down Lake Michigan to Port Washington, it caught fire about a mile or two offshore here. And I guess back then, a lot of people didn't know how to swim. And it wasn't common practice to carry life vests. Not quite sure why, you'd think you're out on the ocean or Lake Michigan or any body of water, you'd think people would have life vests. I guess they just didn't think about it then. <laughs> Even the Vikings didn't have life vests. I don't know what they would have made them out of, but uh, just wasn't common practice. So 170 years ago, I don't know the exact date, but the way this beach would be perceived would be a lot different because there were dead bodies washing up on the beach. That's a completely different perception than I have of it today, of just being this calm, beautiful beach. I was going to come times in your lives you have to change the way you look at things. When my wife Cheryl was diagnosed with stage four terminal cancer in December of 2020, that certainly, as you can guess, changed the way that she and I looked at things. We thought we had a pretty balanced life to begin with how we ran our business, how we spent our free time biking, kayaking, walking on beaches like this, or maybe the Outer Banks, another one of our favorite beaches. And then when she passed away last year in January, it certainly changed the way that I look at things. And Cheryl and I always had a positive spin on life. So we always ask ourselves the questions when there was a flat tire on a truck or a piece of equipment didn't work. The question we always asked ourselves was, what's great about this? If at the time you're really pissed off and you can't think of anything great about it, 
Next question you should ask is, well, what could be great about this? That's a whole different question when you, when your spouse dies, you go, hey, what's great about this? Are you kidding me? I don't know what could be great about this. And that's what I've explored the last year. And uh, I think I'm a better person. What's great about it is that I think I've become a more compassionate person. I think I was already, but I realized I could be better. Changed my approach to life on this big blue marble that's uh, spinning around the sun. And uh, I learned to appreciate days like this and walking along Lake Michigan. Those purchase orders that you're doing at work, that invoice you're getting out, that client that you just have to see or they're gonna, they're just, I don't know what's gonna happen. 20 years from now, that's not gonna be critical. Am I promoting taking sick days or now I'd prefer to call them mental health days? Sure, take advantage of your mental health days. Don't save them up. So many people say, I haven't taken a vacation in 15 years. Well, yeah, and then you retire. And I read somewhere that the average life expectancy of a male in the United States after they retire is three years. Um, and I expect more from life, and so did Cheryl. So it changed the way we looked at things. So I guess my thoughts are, usually on this getting dirty with Glenn, usually I'm going to be talking about riding my bike on destination bike trails throughout Wisconsin and Michigan. We talk about kayaking in the rivers, going on hikes like this. Um, and this isn't meant to be a sad thing. Just sometimes you just got to pause and think about life. That's what I'm doing today in the great state of Wisconsin. The flyover state is the people on the east and west coast say, and that's fine. You can keep flying over it. Well, we're just fine here in the great state of Wisconsin. But uh, I just don't, and, <clears throat> the last thing I'd say is maybe take a look at your life. There's something you can change the way you look at it. A challenge at work, a challenge with your job, a challenge in a relationship, whatever it is. Um, maybe just change the way you look at it. And it will change the way you think about it. So I don't want to walk another two or three miles yet. So I'll leave you with this great uh, image of Lake Michigan and the peace and beauty of this. This is Getting Dirty with Glenn, and I will see you out on the trail.